congrats on your Netflix spe- special. It's funny and insightful. And there were times when I was like, huh. And there were times when I was like, hmm. <laughs> so it's thought provoking. <laughs> I like that's Those are the reactions I want, huhs and hmms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Now, uh, th- this is your first ever Netflix special. Is that correct? Yeah, it's my first hour special, yes. First hour, yes. Yeah. So a big congrats. And so walk us through from the very beginning, starting with the relevance of the title, Three in the Morning. Well, uh, Three in the Morning, the reason why I titled it that is really just because that's where I felt the hour got made. I felt like that's when I was up writing it. I feel like that's when I was at the cellar riffing with other comics and coming up with jokes and inspiration for ideas. I felt like that was the hour I was arguing with my girl for staying out too late doing comedy or when I'd be riding around in an Uber listening to sets, you know, just trying to figure out what I was going to do. I also just feel like it's the hour for creatives, you know, like it's that, you know, witching hour where, you know, the creatives are up and the world is sleeping. So it just captured the essence of what it was for me. That is great. Now, what about the concept? I mean, this one is everything. Sex, being a Black lesbian, airplane trips, a little bit of politics, UFOs. I mean, how did you come up with those? Honestly, that's just the stuff that really goes through my brain. (laughs) It's just (laughs) stuff that I think about. And uh, I try to be authentic to that voice in me that's just kind of like, somebody's going to be able to relate to this and grab onto it. Well, and each segment is funny and true. Like, for instance, you talked about important subjects like representation, cultural differences, even me too. Yet it's not preachy. But like what I said earlier, it makes you go, hmm, she may be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the fun part. I think the, the whole point is, you know, to just get people thinking and laughing at the same time. And, you know, I wanted, you know, I wanted some jokes to lay on you. I want you to be driving in your car and be like, oh, maybe I think about this different now. You know, I think that's the fun of comedy is that it also has the power to do a little bit of that. Now, what's missing though is Black Lives Matter. And um, any thoughts on that monumental subject? Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's missing because I'm a Black life, you know, and I'm, I'm and I'm there and I'm, I'm representing what that can be and what, what, you know, in different spaces. So I don't, I won't necessarily say it's missing, but no, I didn't like specifically yeah. mention it. Um, But I think a part of that was just because I am a Black life and I feel like I'm doing it, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, how how does your work with Saturday Night Live inform your stand-ups? I think it just made me a sharper stand-up. Definitely because I'm doing so much writing there. It's made me a better writer, you know? Um, It's made me more well-rounded because when you're writing sketch, you're writing for different voices and stuff. I think it opened me up and allowed me to be sillier in my stand-up because sketch is such a silly space and just learning that silly funny, you know, which is, I think helped it not come off preachy. You know what I mean? So uh, I think that's the way it's really. That's right. And uh, what about along that lines, who or what have has been your inspiration? Uh, I mean, I've been inspired by so many different things, you know, like I've been inspired by like funny kids growing up that were just funny on the bus like funny dudes in my neighborhood, funny family members, but also like Kim Waynes, Damon Waynes, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, you know, like, so I think it just spans, you know? Yeah. Nash, like, I, I just have a lot of influences. That's in that right. Now, my, my favorite bit on, uh, of your show is um, that being high on mushroom in London. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. That was so funny. And how the white man stole all the paintings. It's true. <laughs> And that's one of the, the ones where I go, ha, huh, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> so congrats on that again, Miss Sam. And thank, thank you. you again. And big congrats again. And I just want to say, unlike you, I like dicks. <laughs> okay, I like that. that was the way to end. True. That was good. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you so much. Good luck <laughs> on everything, okay? Yeah, you good luck with your stuff too. See you later. Thank you so much. <laughs>